Hi, Harrison from Langchain here. And today I want to talk about a series of features that we're releasing as part of Langsmith. So if you haven't used Langsmith already, it's our LLM systems ops platform for logging, monitoring, debugging, testing, evaluation of your LLM apps. And we're releasing a series of new features specifically around production monitoring and automations. So Langsmith is really handy for getting a sense of what's going on in your application. And that doesn't just mean what's going on during development time or, or in offline mode. It also means what's going on when your application is live and in production. And so we've added a bunch of new features to help you understand what's going on and then take action based on that. So as a quick overview, I'm going to talk about the features here. And then we're going to have detailed videos on all of these features and then also some more end-to-end -end use case videos on how to combine and use these features for very real situations. So as an overview of what we'll be covering, first we're going to talk about filtering. So as you get more and more logs in your production service, you need to be able to filter into subsets that you want to explore really easily. And we've added a really good filtering experience. We're then going to talk about some of the monitoring charts that we've added and all the things that you can do with them. So this provides a really great way to get an aggregate view of what is going on in your application. After that, we're going to talk about threads. So one of the main UXs for LLM applications is chat. And so being able to group different turns of the conversation together into a sensible view and, and have a kind of like a great bird's eye view of that thread or, or that conversation is really important. And so we've added a, a view specific, not at the trace level, um, but at the thread level. And finally, we'll, we'll dive into automations. And so automations are basically ways of taking filtered subsets of data automatically and doing things with it. So one thing that you can do with it is you can send it to a data set. Another thing you can do with it is you can send it to an annotation queue, and, and I'll explain what an annotation queue is. And then the third thing you can do with this, and this is a really big new feature we've added, is online evaluation. So with online evaluation, you can define a prompt to run over some subset of traces and leave some feedback and automatically evaluate your runs that you see coming in to the production traffic. So I'm going to cover all these things, and then I'll also cover a few use cases. And so what you can do with these and, and, and really like real world problems that you can solve with this concept of production monitoring and automations. All of these features are part of Langsmith, which is our SaaS platform for doing logging, monitoring, testing, evaluation. You can use Langsmith whether you are using Langchain or not, so it is completely independent. In order to sign up for an account, you can go to smith.langchain.com and you can sign up for an account for free. You will probably want to do that before we continue with the rest of this video. Once you've done that, come back and jump into a future guide. Let's get started.